how would you create good content around golf? Like since we're on the golf theme, would you agree that the majority of golf course subdivisions are higher end houses, right? Would you like to be able to yep. capture the attention of the homeowners in those areas? Now, this is this works if you're using Facebook ads, if you're using Instagram, if you're doing YouTube commercials or over the top television, um, because you can target those specific addresses, which is cool. But it this this leans into everything I've talked about on multiple episodes. If you like to golf and you have favorite golf courses and you want to get listings in those areas, go play fucking golf at the golf course and record yourself and talk about what you like the most out of all these golf courses, what's your favorite hole, get that relevant content because people who live in that community are going to want to know about that course. And there's there's literally an endless amount of content that you can produce by playing 18 holes of golf. Just off the top of my head, interviewing greenskeepers, interviewing the people when you first walk in, the clubhouse, new stuff at the clubhouse. You get onto the green. What's your favorite club and why? Why do you like this hole over the next hole? Why you suck at golf? Stories from your past of playing with your grandfather and how he used to beat you on this very same course. And by the way, I happen to sell real estate and we just sold this house across the street for top dollar content, guys, that you you need. And we talk about repetition. You need to shoot 20, 30, 50 videos to find the winner on social media of all the pot like Find the one that, that resonates the best with those people and then spend the money and give it to, to Jake to put it on OTT because you know it's a winner. Then give it to me. Let me put it in the ads manager and put some money behind it because we know out of the 47 videos that we shot last weekend on the course, that one that resonated the most with people on hole number nine when you were pulling out the sand wedge because you told a story about how your grandfather used to always make this shot and you did whatever the case may be, that's the gold. That's where you put ad spend behind that's how you create in this economy um, likable, like you're the attractive character for your business. Bring people in with that um, very specific, unique content because people who don't live on a golf course, people who don't relate with golf, people who don't live in that community are probably not going to watch that. So if you get the attention of those people and they respond, that's that's a, not only a warm lead, that's a hot lead, right? We talk about the funnel. Jake talks about the funnel all the time. So that's that's bobbing and weaving. Um, that's my coach, Nick Rant. There's endless amounts of content that you can produce. Just so happens to be there's usually multi-million dollar houses on golf courses. You should probably take advantage of that. 